Tony Canigliaro sat out the entire 1968 season to return on opening day of 1969. He celebrated his return with a dramatic 10th inning at bat. Drive to left center, players back, and it is home run for Canigliaro. Eye specialists had regarded Tony C's comeback as a near miracle, and the return was made even more emotional by the greeting he received from his brother Billy, number four, a Red Sox rookie, and the kiss he received from no-nonsense manager Dick Williams. What a story here. 19 more home runs later, Tony Canigliaro was a hands-down selection as American League Comeback Player of the Year. He bettered that in 1970 when he reached career highs with 36 home runs and 116 RBIs, only to be traded at year's end to the California Angels. Meanwhile, another Red Sox player was embarking on an extraordinary career year. Rico Petroselli, who had never totaled more than 18 home runs in a season, launched 40 out of American League ballparks, setting an American League record for a shortstop that lasted for 29 years. And then a breath of fresh air from out of New Hampshire, Carlton Fisk, who became the first unanimous choice for American League Rookie of the Year. The 24-year-old not only established himself as a take-charge guy behind the plate, but he also hit with authority. Nobody knew it in 1972, but in a career that would span 21 years, Carlton Fisk would play more games and hit more home runs than any catcher in Major League Baseball history. With one of those home runs being the most famous in the history of the game.